hi soulmates you're welcome to another tutorial if you've been following my tutorial you already know you should already know how to draft a basic block by now the front and this is the back so what we'll be doing now is um this is we've drafted out the darts the boss darts so what we're not going to be doing is we are going to be eliminating these darts this is it's called the dart manipulation we are going to be eliminating these darts so that we can sew on our dress like if you want to sew on your dress and you don't want a dart to show like you don't want all the dart uh, lines to show on your dress like so this is what we are going to be doing we are going to be eliminating darts removing darts from your basic block so that uh, by the time you wear it it will still be fitted as if you put a dart on the cloth do you understand what i'm saying so that is what we are going to be doing today now let's work with the front first so i will set this back one aside so the first thing you're going to be doing first is to cut off from the waist you cut off from the waist so that it will now be like a skirt and a blouse but later on we are still going to join it together it will not be a gown like so let's just just be patient and and let's get on towards it so the first thing i'm going to cut from the waist yeah so i have cut it now i'm going to set this the, the down parts aside let me set it aside so now we are going to work on this one then now what you do is we are going to be transferring our waist that first to the boss that um in case you don't have a boss that you have a shoulder that you can as well see you know follow this process and you still may get the same results so now let's remove our waist that first Trim it to your bust apex or your bust points like this. Like this. So you remove it. So now let's slash our bust that. Also still trim to your bust apex. When you got to the best bust points here, stop. Don't cut it through. Like this. So you also cut it out. So now I have cut it out. So we are going to tape this one down. You're going to use your maxing tape and you hold it down. Like so. And like this. We we'll get a fresh paper and we're going to close here. Okay, so I said we're going to get a fresh paper. So I got a small piece of paper. You just place it like this then we'll see also tape it down okay, so now that we've taped it down like this just trim off the excess on this side okay so this is it now now you will now take your pen or your pencil so we are going to transfer this same dart here we have transferred it to the ham hole so just come to a part a point here on your ham hole here like this then just connect each that leg to the ham hole that point you make connect each that leg like this Connect the second dart leg to like this. Are you guys seeing it? So we will now open it up. So now, can you see, guys? So now you will now join it like so, like this together. We will now have to tape it down like this. Sorry about the tape, but we just have to use a tape to hold everything down. So this is it now. We will now drop this aside and now work on the skirt part. So what we will now do for the skirt is, 
this is the center front and this is the side the side of the skirt so this that now we will now transfer it to this side so on each that leg also come to the edge here and you connect it on the second the second that leg also you connect it also like this then we will now remove the dots. We will now eliminate the dots. You'll be wondering, ha, what's happening? All these excess, all those gaps you have, how are you going to fill it up? Don't worry. You'll see what we'll do now. So now, we are now done manipulating the front the upper part and the down part so you can see now this is how it will now look like so now let's now also see use our tape to hold this down now i've used the tape to hold this down so we, the excess we have here the opening here we are not going to close it up Okay, so I'm going to take another fresh paper, open like this, like this, then you also see tape it down. That is why when drafting a pattern, we make use of tapes a lot. It could be a cello tape or maxing tape. We make use of it a lot. So now, this is now our block is almost getting ready yeah so what you will do is you will now take your rule your measuring tape and get the mid point here the excess you have here the opening here just get the mid the middle that's 0 0.75 we have 1.5 divided by 2 0 0.75 yeah so you connect is here it's not going to be a straight line it's going to be a slanted line just connect your lines together connect it like this like this then when i was drafting this block i used 6.5 as our waist so you put the same 6.5 On this line here like this so you are going to connect together you use your yeah so our gown basic block is ready now I'm going to trim off this excess now. Okay, so guys, this is it. Our gown block is ready. So now, the same thing we did on the front, we have to, we will still do it on the on the back i am not supposed to repeat it because if you understand this very well you are supposed to repeat what you what we did here on this but for some that will just be like okay they don't know or they just want you to do everything for them so let me just do it and um, we separate the the upper part from the down part yeah so i'll drop this the, the skirt part aside so now you have to open your the darts at the back You open it. You also open this one. So you remove it. Yeah. Then from here, you can you fill it up. Same thing with the front. You fill it up with a paper, a fresh paper, like this. So let's close it up. Let's tape it down. Okay. Yeah. So now we'll come to the armhole here. 
somewhere around here. So let's connect our dart legs. This is the first dart leg, and this is the second dart leg. Yeah. So now let's trim. Sorry, I feel you can see I did not trim it well. That is why it's not slipping properly. Okay, yeah. See everything about about that manipulation. You just have to be very, 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 very precise and careful with it. Yeah. So this this is the upper part. Now this is the back one. So the same thing we did for that front skirt is what you are still going to do and guys if it's just a skirt you're making and there's a dart on the skirt and you do not want any dart to show and you still want a very fitted skirt you still follow the same process and you do it like that follow this process so same thing we did i'm going to open it up like this Oh no, don't cut through and I cut through. That was a mistake, guys. That was a mistake. But nevertheless, I am going to close it back. Please, if there's anything you don't understand, kindly let me know in the comment section. And you've, if you've gotten to this point and you like my tutorial, please like it, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys. So now, this is the upper part and this is the down part. So we're still going to fill it up the same way we did the second, the first one. You can see here that we don't have much opening because there's no bust that at the back. I'm not supposed to do this, but like I said, for those that want me to do everything, they just need to understand what you are doing. That is why I'm repeating this. So now let's close this. Before this one, close this one up first, like this. Just put it like this, then we now close this one. like so yep and this one you just have to just there's not really much work on the back one so you just trim off the excess paper here here like this Yeah, like this and we are done with our back borders so my lovely soulmates this is the front and the back we are done manipulating our darts we've closed everything so you can now cut this on your fabric and you are good to go and you're still going to have the same fitting like oh okay as if there's a there's, there's a dart on it you know that is visible but this one the dart is being manipulated it's being closed but you still have the same fitting yeah thank you thank you guys for watching i'll see you all in my next tutorial thank you bye